Good morning, peeps. Welcome to another vlog. Just want to show you what we're doing today. So we have a situation here where we essentially want a brand new shower control valve. I initially was going to put in a remodeling plate, which looks kind of like this right here. However, what I eventually realized was that if we come back here, this is the rear side of the valve. If we were to open this up right here, we can actually access the valve comfortably without disturbing any of the trim right here. So in other words, I don't have to make a larger hole underneath the trim, which I think is an advantage. I spoke to the owner and they gave me the go ahead. And that's the game plan for today. So let's get to work. Let's have some fun. Oh, and by the way, peeps, you know what to do, baby. Let's go do some delicious plumbing. So peeps, we start off by disassembling the old shower control valve. The first thing that I need to do is verify if the Moen valve I'm about to put in will work for the hole cut in this fiberglass wall. So I start off by finding my centers and then transferring them to the drywall behind the valve. I used a level to draw out a square template that I plan on cutting out. I made it a bit larger than a foot by a foot because space in this situation is going to be our ally. Now, as much as I love this tool and how nice of a line you can make with it, the one thing that I gotta say is that it's very dusty to work with. So if you're going to do it, make sure that you bring in a mask and also a vacuum in order to get that done. All right, so I checked my centers and all my distances. It turns out that I'll be able to put it on the pipe that goes up to the shower head and also on the pipe that goes down to the spout right here. So we'll be able to reuse those. All I'm gonna do now is because it's a PEX connection from left to right, hot and cold, I'm gonna prefabricate PEX on the left and on the right as well and that way we can get it all done and just a couple of crimps away from having a finished product. One major difficulty with swapping out valves is how close they get to wood when you have to re-solder them. Now I wasn't able to get it on camera but this valve was very difficult to re-solder because the heat shield, as good as it is, only goes so far. So inevitably there was a little bit of burning that took place. And as I was editing this I came to realize that there are a couple of strategies I could have used to help avoid this. For example, using something like a compression fitting. If I had soldered nipples on all four sides of the valve I could have potentially connected the shower head and the shower or spout using compression fittings. A similar solution would have been shark bite fittings. The only issue that I see with these solutions is just how bulky these fittings are that they might not have actually went in according to the space that was allotted. I know for sure that ProPress wouldn't have been a viable solution here because the jaws would have just taken up too much space and they wouldn't have wrapped around the pipe and the fitting without moving the entire unit and pressing it a little bit crooked. So unfortunately sometimes you're just stuck in a bad situation and you have to make do but at least we came up with some solutions going forward to help circumvent this obstacle if you do have that space allotted do me a favor down in the comments below when you are that close to a stud how do you handle having to solder where you know in most circumstances it's going to be really difficult to not have this wood light on fire Peeps, if you're interested in learning plumbing theory from me, please check out my website, molotovplumbingacademy.com. There you'll find my plumbing math course, and I'm currently in the works of making a beginner's plumbing course as well. Links are in the description. Thanks for the support, and enjoy the rest of the vlog. The final phase is throwing on the water and seeing how all the parts of the valve are working. Now, the advantage to working from behind the valve is that because the wall is now open, it is much easier to see if any of the work is not sound. If you were working from the front and doing a remodeling plate, you would have had to pull out a small little mirror and run the water extensively and take a look in this mirror to see if you see any water behind there. But in this instance, a quick glance from behind, you're able to see if there is any water present. Peeps, thanks for watching. A little bit of a shorter vlog this week, but hopefully you caught a couple of tips along the way do me a favor if you haven't already hit that subscribe button down below and that bell notification so you know exactly when we're getting videos smash that thumbs up share with friends and i'll see you plumbers very soon kenny molotov guys peace baby